All right, what's going on, you guys? Welcome back to some more Walking Dead here today. We are on part three now. Uh, where we left off was we met these people at this place, at this drugstore. Right we got to go get some medicine for this, this freaking douchebag of a guy. Because he wants to be a, a, a meanie. And uh, hurt the kid that's not even bitten, I don't think. But uh, we just picked something up. Let's give it to Clementine real quick. But here you go. Thank you. Of course. There we go. All right, so we gave her some food, I guess. So I think we're just looking around. I know we have to find like uh, the pills a key. Are there. How do we? Oh, I hate this guy. How's he doing? I'm not sure. I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. Fuck this guy. Fuck you, bro. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. You didn't have to call me a bitch in front of my people. Damn right I did. That shit, all right? It's hard enough to be in charge of people's lives without some dick cutting you down. Oh, you're gonna call me a dick. Before with my dad, that didn't help. He started it. Oh, uh, what's wrong with him? You're from here. What do you think about all this? What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. He's faking the fuck out of it. I've Look at him. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. He's got a temper. Yeah, he He's does. He's got a temper. Ah, oh, fuck you. Yeah, yeah, see what I mean? He doesn't mean it. It's just that... Yeah? We've got kids here, families. Never mind. Yeah. We've got kids here. Families. He and I are a family. I'm just saying some people can't handle a temper like that. Hell. Well, it seems like you can. It's just his way. Don't make him the reason everything's screwed. It is his fault. He's fucked. Where's her mom? Savannah, I think. Oh, you guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found her in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. Damn straight. Everybody's lucky to have me. Uh, you're from here. What do you think about all this? I'm Screw that. Get back to him now. Yeah, me too. Fuck that. I don't want any more questions for your dumbass. We got better things to move on to. Alive inside. Okay. Lee, what's going on with you, man? Door that's open. Really confused though. I can't. I can't think about them in here. Talking about family? Friends? What? Oh, excuse me. A cane? What's that? This was my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. Oh, there's a picture right there. Whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool, like you would have. My dad gave it to me. See, dad's just smart like that. That's right. I did see a picture on the floor, though. Quiet, quiet. Find anything? Uh, just a picture. No, nothing. A photo of the family who owned this place. It's a photo of the family who owned this place. Might help us track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were or that you were tied to this place? Uh, it's the apocalypse. Who cares? 
What is it to you? What's it to you? To me? I'm not the one with the felony record. Ooh, you can do that shit? Okay guy. And the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. I appreciate it. Uh, I don't trust you. Thanks. thanks. I just say thanks. Don't worry about it. Because we just like question her on being trustful and shit, then the girls out here be doing some sneaky shit. They be out here doing some sneaky shit. What was that, bed? What? Okay. This door leads to the back alley. He's got to know that there's something First in here, right? Kit. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Okay. Is there anything we need in here? Fuck. Oh. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Damn straight. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. Uh, I think it's scary. Hey. How are you doing? You don't need anything, right? No. I get hungry a lot. Okay, good to know. And you don't have any allergies or anything I should know about, right? Don't kids have allergies or asthma or just general maladies? My friend Alfred has a peanut allergy. But you cool? I think so. Okay, here we go. <sighs> Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? Oh, let's just move this thing. Uh, what do your parents do? Let's talk about that. Mm. What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. Those are good jobs. What's your job? I uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like Ew. social studies? Yeah, like that. You didn't answer my question. Damn right I didn't. Alright, a little further. Watch your fingers. <sighs> Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they like hate you? Uh hope not. It's just complicated because they're dead. Uh wouldn't blame them. I wouldn't blame them. I wouldn't I guess. blame them. Why? Did you fight? I fight with my mom sometimes. We didn't fight. We just didn't talk for a while. Look, my family's gone and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I'm not a bad guy. I killed someone. Um, I'm not, not a bad, bad guy, okay? Things happen and we didn't talk much after that. My parents don't talk to me when I get in trouble. Oh. Are you okay? That's like I the worst spot. Finger. Is it bleeding? A little. I'll find you a bandage. All right, so the med kit. We're dead. Thing wrong, you're cleaning the room up, too. There's a band-aid in there, I bet. Oh, good. Grab that band-aid. Grab that Neosporin, too. Patch her up. All right, so we got the band-aid. Let's come back over here. Patch your little Let's girl up. Look at that finger. Probably should have washed it, Ow. but you know what? It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Uh, let's, let's get just... this cut covered up. Yes, please. Not bad, not bad. Lee? Yeah. What if my parents come home and I'm not there? Oh, they'll yeah, find us. Uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? 
What's in the drawer? Nothing. It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're gonna help Larry. What? Okay, we got a TV up here. Dad kept the remote for that thing in here someplace. Where's the key? <coughs> Fuck. Oh shit. It's the remote to my dad's TV. Oh, there's the remote to the TV. Turn that thing on. Probably all static. That's what I figured. Alright, so I don't think there's anything else in here. I'm not gonna I guess just go back out. Wanna head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah. You're not bad, right? I, uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? Uh, no, he wasn't. It's complicated. Yeah, he was. Oh, fuck. It's, it's complicated. complicated. Sometimes things happen there. You do things and you can't explain them. Let's, uh, head back to the others. We gotta find a key, that guy. So she's sitting back right here. We already gave her something to eat. Definitely not gonna give it to that one guy though, for sure. What you got? What you got going on? What you doing? Hell no. You're a Talk to her. Good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. Uh, you handle yourself well. Uh, story of the century, huh? Uh, what are you working on? What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. Hey there. Uh, this is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie, or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and... Well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group. And a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. Damn. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn. We're going to talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm going to hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah. That's right. I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. All right. So Glenn got himself in a little, a little jam. But uh, what about this radio, though? Yep, grab all of it. So I do know that we have... Uh, can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know it's not much, but here, for the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. All right, so hey, we need Lee. batteries. Really gave that old man hell. Yeah. We got pushed, you know? You don't have to tell me. I was ready to tear the man's head off. Anyway. Damn right Lee, I was, too. Kat and I appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. Uh, are you guys all right? Uh, what's the plan? How's Doug doing? Let's see. Doing. Let's see how the boy's doing. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kid. How's she doing? Uh, her family's dead. Uh, how should I know? She's good, I think. She's good, I think. She's good, She's I think. She's a tough one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. What were you saying, Lee? She spent days surviving on her own? That's right. Not just any little girl can do that. Uh, what's the plan? What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. 
You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? No. Oh, the only place they're gone, I don't know. Ugh, excuse oh me, goodness. shit. Do you think? How? I just know, right? Cat, it's not our business. Uh, are you guys all right? Are you guys all right? We're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Uh oh. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? It happened pretty fast. Uh, we let that boy. It happened, it happened fast. Pretty fast, I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. We can't kill ourselves. Okay? We killed that boy. We could have saved him together. We did what we could. Bad things happened. We didn't make a choice that killed John. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Try to let it go. That's right. Can't dwell on that shit. It ain't your fault. Now where are these batteries, bro? I know I got the remote. Shit. Water down. We'll do our damnedest. Is that a battery? Oh shit, that is batteries right there. Why the fuck are they right there? Why are they in the TV remote? I would have just took them out that shit. Alright, so we got the batteries. They're in a weird ass spot. But uh, I think we're good now. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. And here's another one. Should be able to get it to work now. Alright. Stick him in that. What's this guy doing? Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <coughs> <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Huh. huh. Sure. Alright, let's have a look around. Let's go have a look around. Cool. And we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring him back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. <clears throat> Alright, we're going outside now. Jesus. God damn. We probably shouldn't have did that. Did they turn my boy up? They just eat. As far as I can tell, that's all they care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. What are we trying to? What is that? Can't reach that brick. Are we trying to get those TVs to work over there? That place is full of TVs and electronics. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Watch this. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Is that it's how this shit works? Salon. You can just do that? Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Damn smart ass kid. Oh shit. Well fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? Yeah, go for it. There you go. Yeah, I look at that. Them to take notice. Once one takes it, they all take the bait. Look at them. But not enough. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? Oh, it's his brother. I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we could make. 
Yeah, I agree. We just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Yeah, this brick right here. I can't reach that. Bro, I'm sick of trying to grab that fucking brick. Here, buddy, you grab that shit. Hey, Tommy. Alright, so we have to talk to her. Um... You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yep. Yeah. Let's go. Alright, so we're out of here now. We gotta go help our boy out. And these batteries are still just moving around. Alright, so we made it to motel now. Where's our boy at? Get down. Oh, shit. Where's our boy at, though? Did you see that? Oh, there he sure is. Did. Be ready to shoot. No, don't be ready to shoot. That's our boy. Oh, man. I'm glad you're here. Jesus, Glenn. All right, then. Wasn't so hard. Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go now. Listen, yeah, we gotta go. Fuck that, I'm bitch. For gas. And then, up there in the corner room, crying coming from inside who is it it's a girl we talked and she got frightened i was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying i was bitten i tried to convince her i wasn't and that's when all these guys came out of the forest a, a couple almost got me and, and i ended up hiding in the ice machine lucky you now let's go we can't just leave her damn right we can you guys are suicidal over a girl i'm saving her with or without you think about if it was you Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. <laughs> Fuck that bitch, bro. Where are we at right now? Oh, there's an axe right there too. Get out your gun. But the noise. Just follow my lead. Oh, here we go. He's the pillow as the fucking. Cover that bitch up. That works. That sick. There we go. All right, so let's get in this thing. Start that bitch. Hot wire it. Something. Oh, we're gonna reverse it. Spark plug. Fuck. It's a spark plug. Spark plug. You should hold on to that. Come in handy. What am I gonna do with the spark plug now? Oh yeah, ram his ass over. Coming in hot. That was awesome. <laughs> we gotta grab that fire axe though. Why are we back over here now? See the spark plug. The porcelain inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. What did he just do? <laughs> that worked. Let's grab that. That could scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. Where do we go, though? Back around the wall and just take them all quietly? Silent killer? Alright. Let's take out this motherfucker. Going around town. Take his ass out. Hold on. Hold on. Fuck. I'll wait for him to get closer. Oh shit. I'm about to fuck him up too. Get his ass. Get the brain shot. Dead shot. There we go. Oh, now we made some noise. 
Hit him. Hit him with that wood. There you go, right in the face. Nice. Thanks for having my back. For sure. I don't really know how I had his bag, not. Grab that axe. Grab the axe. Look at him. He doesn't got one hand. He's only got one hand. Fuck this guy. Oh shit, he's a big guy too. Then went straight. Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that ice big sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. Are you two done? Hell no. We're slaying them out now. Two more. That should help. Nice lag behind just in case this goes to hell. Okay. We'll be right behind you. Alright, we're going up. How do I swing this thing? We're gonna go sn snug him out real quick. I'm coming. Oh, they're gonna get fogged up. Nothing important in there. Swing! Ooh, there we go. One more to go. Swing in there, bitch! God damn! Alright, who's in there? I went through a lot of shit to get your bitch ass. <coughs> Alright, fuck it. Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. All right, we got to break the door down. Fuck it. How's it locked from the outside? About to say. Stop, just stop. I'm coming out. Damn, you look like a crack oh, addict. <laughs> I, I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late for that guys she's been bitten what i told you i said go away i'm bit but you wouldn't just leave let's calm down you could be fine i won't be fine my boyfriend was bitten you get sick and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find you have a boyfriend when i don't want that it's not christian please just leave me please go Oh, if you turn in and come back, okay, we'll leave. Fuck it, we're leaving. Okay, we'll leave. Just try to take care of yourself for whatever time you have left. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this, and then, then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please, I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're... Satanic. That is satanic. Give it to her. Uh, fuck it. Give, Give it, to, it her. to her. What? Fuck it. You can't be serious. Do it. No. Then shoot her. Uh, then do it. Uh, fuck then it. Shoot, shoot her. her. Huh? I've seen what hell is like, and it's coming back as one of those things. Shoot her. Help her out here. You're insane. Just take this thing. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Just give it to her by her hands. What the fuck? Thank you so much. I know how terrible this must be. Don't you fucking shoot us with it. Let's go. We can't go yet. What? Why not? Because somebody needs to pick up the gun. Can't leave it. You two go on. Okay. I'm here with you. Goodbye. God bless you. Alright, I'm here with you. You're a good man. Gotta do what you gotta do. And we're out. Everyone alright? 
Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine and, well, yeah, we're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. Screw that guy. These Perhaps batteries are still stuff. bugged. <laughs> How can I with those things <coughs> out there? These batteries are still bugged up. Look at them. Just follow me around. Every everywhere I go, there's just two batteries just sitting there. But alright guys, it's gonna be the end of part three of um wa The Walking Dead. If you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you guys are new. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you guys later.